How to Calculate the Glycemic Load of Your Meal The glycemic index is a tool used to measure food based on how rapidly the carbohydrates are digested and released as sugar in the blood. The glycemic load takes into account how many carbohydrates are in the food as well as how rapidly they're absorbed, which gives you a good idea how a certain food is going to affect your blood sugar levels. Many people can benefit from a low glycemic diet, especially diabetics. Maintaining a low glycemic diet helps diabetics control their blood sugar and insulin levels. These instructions will show how to determine the glycemic load of a meal so that you can make wise diet decisions. Steps 1. No portion sizes In order to have accurate results, you'll need to know the amounts of each part of the meal. Throughout these instructions, we'll be using an example meal of 1 cup instant oatmeal 1 medium-sized golden delicious apple 7 ounce serving of plain Greek yogurt 2. Find the total amount of carbohydrates, carbs, in the meal. Add the carbs of each item in the meal together. Example. The oatmeal has 22 carbs. The apple has 16 carbs. The yogurt has 8 carbs. 22 plus 16 plus 8 is equal to 46 total carbs in the meal. 3. Calculating the percentage of carbohydrates, carbs, that each item in the meal contributes. Divide the number of carbs in each item by the total number of carbs in the meal. Example. To figure out the percentage of carbs the oatmeal contributes, take 22, the oatmeal, and divide it by 46 total carbs in the meal, to get 0.48. Round it to keep the math simple. Then do the same thing with the rest of the items so. Oatmeal, 22, 46 is equal to 0.48. Apple, 16, 46 is equal to 0.35. Yogurt, 8, 46 is equal to 0.17. 4. Verify the results from the previous step. All of the numbers calculated in the last step should add up to be 1.00, maybe slightly off due to rounding, that's okay, example. Oatmeal equals 0.48. Apple equals 0.35. Yogurt equals 0.17. 0.48 plus 0.35 plus 0.17 is equal to 1.00. 5. Find the value of each item on the glycemic index. This information can be found at 6. Find the percentage glycemic value of each item. Take the percentage we calculated in step 3 for each item and multiply it by the GI value of that item. Example. Oatmeal, 0.48 times 83 is equal to 39.84. Apple, 0.35 times 39 is equal to 13.65. Yogurt, 0.17 times 12 is equal to 2.04. 7. Find the total glycemic value of the meal. Add all the numbers you got in the previous step to get the overall value of the meal on the glycemic index. Example. Oatmeal, 39.84 plus, apple, 13.65 plus, yogurt, 2.04 is equal to 55.53. 8. Find the total amount of dietary fiber. Add the dietary fiber of each item in the meal together. This information can be found on the nutrition label of most foods. Example. The oatmeal has 4 grams of dietary fiber. The apple has 3 grams of dietary fiber. The yogurt has 0 grams of dietary fiber. 4 plus 3 plus 0 is equal to 7 total amount of dietary fiber in the meal. 9. Find the net carbs. Take the total amount of carbs in the meal, found in step 2, 
and subtract the total amount of dietary fiber from the last step. Example 46, carbs, 7, fiber, equals 39, net carbs. 10, find the glycemic load of the meal. Take the total glycemic value of the meal from step 7 and multiply it by the net carbs of the meal from the previous step and then divide your answer by 100. Example 55.53, GI value, asterisk 39, net carbs, equals 2165.67. 2165 100 is equal to 21.66, rounded. 11. All done. You now know the glycemic load of the meal. A glycemic load of under 10 is considered low, and any glycemic load of over 20 is considered high. In our example, the meal has a glycemic load of 21.66, which is considered high. Things Writing utensil Paper Calculator Glycemic index table or internet access